Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Honestly, we're not gonna be doing anything. We're just gonna sit here and just kind of catch up, talk to you guys, let you guys know what's going on with my life. I was gonna do a mukbang, but one, I don't know if you guys noticed in my last video, I get so distracted. I cannot talk and eat. I just can't do it. Before we get into the video, I just want to show you guys my eyeshadow. If you guys have noticed my eyeshadow and like it, this is the palette that I'm using. It's from Because Cosmetics on Instagram. Um, I will tag her Instagram name on in the description below. This palette, I absolutely love. Don't judge my eyes. You guys judge? Some of you guys judge the way I put my eyelashes on. And guys, I barely started learning to put eyelashes like a couple months ago okay so if you guys see that they're on wrong they really are on wrong anyway back to the eyeshadow i love how the purple pops you know look i used this color what is that royalty and what is that courage they also have a lot of other things they have skincare products they have literally everything and their their products are really high up so i recommend you at least just check them out so check the description below okay let's get into the video i'm recording on my phone but i do have a lot i mean an ipad so i will be looking at the questions you guys asked me on instagram a while back that i never answered and then i will be picking through um i re i just posted one on my instagram right now so i'll be going back and forth and just answering the questions that i feel you guys have the most questions about and the ones that i feel comfortable answering Okay, so the first question that I'm reading right here is when do you think you'll be ready to date again? So first off, that is such a crazy question because I never thought I'd ever be put in the position to answer something like this, you know? So I know I'm going to be judged for my, for my response, but the truth is, guys, I don't know when I'll be ready to, to really truly settle down with someone, like commit to someone and... When my late husband um, first got hurt, my first instincts were to see what I had to do to get through this with him, you know? So throughout the journey, at first, I did not want to get remarried. I did not want to leave him. I did not want to redate. What I wanted was to be with him and take care of him. And I knew that he was different. I knew that it was going to be incredibly hard. But guys, I just that was, leaving wasn't an option. Like it, it was an option, obviously, but it wasn't an option to me. And of course, my parents sat me down. They loved Luis, and they still love Luis with all their heart. But as my parents, and as it's their job, you know, to make sure that your child is okay and safe. And you know, sat me down and said, "Are you sure this is what you want to do? Like, this is a full-on commitment." You know, they reminded me about the babies, the you know, my life that basically making me realize that my life is going to change. I stayed with him. Me staying with him, basically, it was canceling the opportunity for me to have babies a normal way and just, you know? So in the beginning, no, I did not want to date. No, I did not want to get remarried. No, I didn't want anyone else. But now, speaking now, yes, I do want to date again. And yes, I do want to get remarried. And yes, I do want to have kids. And guys, I wanted to have kids with Luis. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but before he got hurt, which was on January 22nd, 2019, we were trying for almost a year. And so blah, 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 that's just a whole different story, right? But we wanted babies and God just didn't want that for us. We never understood why we, we me and Luis never understood why we went through half of the stuff that we went through fertility wise but Louise always told me like everything happens for a reason you know everything happens for a reason god will give us a baby when we're ready for one blah 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 so i was like okay um of course you know but i wasn't able to have babies with Louise, you know so now speaking now i i don't necessarily say that i'm ready but um i do eventually want to have kids i do want to eventually get married i do want to eventually date and i do want to eventually just get back to a normal life, as much of a normal life as I can, so. Any school slash work plans you're currently working on? Okay, I am currently enrolled in school. I do start school September, and the school that I'm going to attend is Southwest University. This is a little brief story. 
My school plan growing up was not to ever go to Southwest, Southwest University. And for those of you that don't know what South, Southwest, Southwest University is, it's a private school to help you graduate faster, basically. Growing up, my intentions were to never graduate faster. My intentions were to actually play college softball, which I did for a JUCO team called Luna Community College in Las Vegas, New Mexico. My plan was to graduate high school and to go play ball, you know, softball. So I did go play softball and then I was still dating Luis and I played softball for a year at Luna Community College while, where I was dating Luis. And then I did have a full ride scholarship and it was for two years, but I only stayed for one year, came back and then got married. I continued school, but it wasn't paid for anymore. I continued to go to um, EPCC, El Paso Community College here in El Paso. I did have to pay for my school with financial aid because I wasn't on a full ride anymore. And I also could have, I guess, tried on and walked on the El Paso Community College team, but I honestly just, at that point in my life, I just wanted to put it behind me, just focus on school and my marriage. And, I, and being in any college sport, you're so busy with school and sports. So I wouldn't really have time for him, you know? I chose school and my husband I just had to pay for school <laughs> so that wasn't the route that I plan on taking I'm gonna do my two years basics at a community college and then I was gonna go for my major at UTEP or something or wherever me and Luis ended up I was just gonna do the long way since this happened to Luis he got into the accident I ended up here I do have school benefits that got passed down to me because of Luis because of that I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it go to school graduate fast, try and get my degree as fast as I can so I can start working. And my major, my major is nursing. Someone asked, what's my zodiac sign? I Googled it. I do not really believe in this stuff so much just because my dad really tells me not to. Um, but for those of you asking, my sign is a Gemini. My birthday is July 2nd and I was born 1999. I'm kind of curious to see what a Gemini's traits are because I really don't know. So don't tell my dad, but I'm gonna Google it. It says the Gemini traits, um, my strengths are gentle, affectionate, curious, adaptable, ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. My weaknesses, hmm. nervous, inconsistent, and indecisive. Expressive and quit-witted, Gemini represents two different personalities in one and you will never be sure which one you will face. They are social, they are social, communicative, and ready for fun with a tendency to suddenly get serious, thoughtful, and restless. They are fascinated with the world itself, extremely curious with the constant feeling that there is not enough time to experience and everything experience everything that you want to see. Interesting. Okay, well yeah, that's what I am. <laughs> Next question. Why does Luis's mom put hashtag justice for Luis on her post? Guys, I don't know. Honestly, I lost I lost track because the first thing that she claimed she hated me for was because that I was trying to love him more. That I was trying to love him more. I was trying to Tell her I was trying to tell her how to act or tell her how to be with her son or something like that You know that I was trying to like tell her what to do or something We got over that somehow some way and then the second thing that she ended up hating me about was because I was supposedly keeping information from her and that she needed to know everything about her son. Guys, I promise you 100% on my life, it was so hard for me to deal with it because I wasn't doing anything, I wasn't hiding anything, and she just thought I was. But the next reason, I was supposedly taking Luis away from her and that I was attacking her family. The reason she says that I was taking Luis away from her and attacking her family is because I chose to... Well, first I chose to move out of town Luis for his recovery so his family could be close to him. I had an option to stay around close to my family, if not El Paso, but I could have stayed in Texas for his care. The facility that he went to, Palo Alto, California, there's exact same facility, no difference in San Antonio, Texas. The reason that I chose to go to California is so his family could be closer to him. I moved 21 hours away from my family so his family could be four hours away from him. Me up and moving my life for, you know, so everyone could be happy backfired on me because no, I just couldn't do it. I decided to come back with my husband. And by coming back, I mean coming back to the, our hometown where we were living and taking care of him here. That upset his mom mostly. So to answer your question, she basically thinks that I, I had something to do with Luis passing away. I think it has a lot to do with she hasn't accepted what has happened because initially Luis got hurt because he was in a training accident. He was in a military training accident all the way in Chaparral. To answer your question, I don't know why she puts justice for Luis. I just think she needs something else to focus on, you know. So I've been her punching bag from the beginning. So I'm not really, I'm not really surprised, honestly. 
So what plans do you have for the near future? Right now, I'm currently enrolled in a medical assistant program at Southwest University, which starts September 22nd, I believe. We'll be graduating with my medical assistant license, hopefully the year of 2021 in September. The reason I'm going for my medical assistant license first is just because that's the way the program works. So the program I'm in is I'm going to school to be a, an RN. A registered nurse you have to apply for the medical assistant license first and then once you graduate to be a medical assistant then that's when you can go to school to get your BSN your bachelor's degree in nursing first I'm going to go to school to become a medical assistant get certified then once I get certified and I will be continuing my school to get my bachelor's in nursing how is your relationship with Luis's family now that he passed uh, there is no relationship um, it's pretty much really, I guess, bad. We left off really bad. Basically, our situation is we're not on good terms. And how do you cope with the negativity and how do I deal with the negativity? So I actually don't really get a lot of negativity anymore, mostly because I've literally made my social media to where like, if someone wants to harass me, it's gonna be really freaking hard. Like my comments are everything. So it's gonna be really hard to harass me, okay? You have to, if you see a comment and they're harassing me, just know they put in that time because I made it really hard for them. Dealing with the negativity guys, honestly, just don't pay attention to it. Obviously, if someone hates you, you're doing something right, you know? Um, I don't know, personally, I just don't care if you're gonna, I personally just don't care. I, I just genuinely, honestly, 100% just don't care about what people say. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I promise you, like... So, yeah. Honestly, guys, just don't pay attention to the drama. Like, that's honestly my advice. What has helped you stay positive? My family has helped me stay positive. Honestly, guys, myself. If you guys want to heal, you have to want to heal. Like, you have to find it within. I think what helped me really want to help myself was getting on depression and anxiety medication and also sleeping medication. It just, it really helped me um, reset and regather and just reevaluate what was in front of me. So, how did you save up for a house in a Jeep? For those of you that don't know, um, I have a 2020 Sahara Jeep Wrangler. I did do a, a Jeep tour, so I will link that. Um, below as well. The reason I am able to get it is because of my husband Luis. So my husband Luis did pass away and he was in the army um, but a lot of people think that I, I bought my car with the life insurance money and no guys I have not received his life insurance money. When Luis was hurt we were still getting, I was still receiving his paycheck um, so I had a budget whatever was the let, whatever was the difference of the budget I put in my savings so I did have quite a lot of savings and it was mostly because I didn't know what I was going to need for Luis. I didn't know what the VA was going to pay for and what what he what wasn't going to pay for. At the end of the day, it was just me, like literally, like I just I just I just it made me feel secure and safe. With that being said, I didn't have a car for around 6 months or 7 months. I'm not too sure. My car broke down cuz my engine broke and it was just a really old car. Um and so i could have bought another car right away because i had money in my savings but i didn't so i just waited i didn't buy a car i just uh, my dad was letting me use his car for almost six or seven months guys so shout out to my dad for letting me drive his truck for a long time and the reason i am able to get a house is because my dad built it for me yay when i was eight years old my dad built this house from the ground up it was his intention to pay it off and hand it down to me the house is not paid off yet. I am paying the mo I am paying mortgage like everyone else. I am paying regular bills like everyone else. But yeah, guys, I am able to move into this house because my dad got it for me. Actually, the plan was to not even move in at 21 or 20 years old. You know, I was supposed to be in college or doing something else. But since all this happened, I ended up here and I ended up moving in early. But um, I'm paying a mortgage as well. So when this house is paid off, my dad is giving it to me, obviously. And so he says, when it's paid off, it's mine. I can either stay here forever or rent it out and get a new house. He also did it for my little brother as well. My dad bought, my dad gave me this house. They moved into another house. They also built from the ground up. So that house when they pass away will be my little brothers. My favorite food and my favorite restaurant. My favorite food, Chinese food. And my favorite restaurant here in El Paso is Hayashi. It's a Japanese restaurant. Like, am I working? Um, no guys, I am not working and I do not plan on working. Before this happened to Luis, I was working a part-time job and I was going to school full-time. I do plan to go to school full-time and the way the army works guys is that when you go to school, they pay you to go to school. So basically going to school is my job, which is awesome. But why were you so mean to Luis's family and why did you never let them see him? Um, 
one, I wasn't mean to Lisa's family. Two, I did let them see him. Um, just not as much as they wanted. But, and that sucks too, right? Like, I hate the position that they put me in. Like, okay guys, so the reason that I put a visitation schedule on my husband's family was because um, for my sanity, for my safety, and for, for Luis's healing. Um, as long as I was in control of Luis's healing, I would not let anyone alter it. So I don't care if you're his mom, you're his dad, you're his, you're the president of the United States. I don't care who you are. You, as long as I'm in charge, you will not alter his healing. Um, I don't care what differences me and you have or anyone has. In that room with him, you will fake it till you make it. Because that boy was fighting so much that the last thing he needed was to worry about stupid little petty arguments. So, basically guys what happened in palo alto california i will be doing a youtube video about what truly happened in palo alto california so stay tuned for that a lot of things happened over there and finally i got to the point where i realized that what people were saying were true like in order to take care of louise and if i really wanted to do it i had to take care of myself how could i take care of a whole ass human being when i couldn't take care of myself you know so i made sure that i was sane and that i was okay to make sure that he was okay. And of course I did it the right way. I made sure that Luis's family were still involved and were still um, with him. Do you ever plan on playing college softball again? No, I do not plan on going back and playing college softball um, just because I'm way out of shape and I don't know guys, like I, I honestly could do it. It just take a lot of training, a lot of practice again and blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like I'm at a different place in my life and yeah, that's just not something I would want to do. Maybe coaching in the future is an option. Why is Luis buried close to his family? First things first, I did not give anyone permission to bury Luis anywhere but El Paso, Texas. So it did go against my wishes. What had happened was in the beginning, first enlisted in the army, um, you have to sign a bunch of papers, those important papers. So when Luis joined the army, I didn't know him yet at all. Like any kid would, like I would myself, he put his parents and um, when we got married, you have to change that stuff. But me and Luis were thinking about like money and benefits and life insurances and stuff, you know, like that. Because we didn't think that he would ever pass away. Like, you know, like you just don't think about that stuff. So we never changed anything like at all, ever. So six months into our marriage, he got hurt. And then um, the papers were finalized. Of course, I did try and fight it because I was his guardian. When I sat down with him, like, of course I was crying. I was his, his hysterical they told me like that guy he was like he's like can i be honest with you he's like i didn't put my wife he's like i'm married and i have my parents he's like i didn't put my wife or my parents he's like i don't want them to bury me he's like i put someone my best friend that i want he's he put his best friend because he knew that his mom his wife and he didn't want him the his family to have to go through that so he put his best friend so when he told me that that kind of put things in perspective for me and i was like wow that's true like why do i want to be in charge of burying my husband you know so the way i see it guys is if it were up to me i would have buried louise here as close to me as possible and but it wasn't up to me so in a way i thank god for not making me have to make another hard decision because one like yes i want him here but at the end of the day like i do plan on getting remarried in the future and i do plan on having kids so what is really best for him is should I fight and get him here in El Paso or should I let his family take care of him? And because, you know, I might get remarried and I might miss a date going to a cemetery, but his mom and his dad and his sisters won't, you know, they'll, they'll be there. So I decided to let what was happening happen um, for Luis. Why did you stop wearing your wedding ring? I do wear it around my neck. So yeah, that's pretty much all. Oh, honestly, I got some Crocs. Alright guys, well, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you. Bye!